So what's next for Kai Soto? And as he went undrafted, this is something that we knew was going on. I had said this multiple times in my previous videos. I made two videos about Kai Soto. I wasn't one of those YouTubers who just made a bunch of it, but I knew he was gonna either, if he got drafted, it was a second round pick, but I knew there was a chance that he'd go undrafted. However, he worked out for multiple teams and he still has a contract with the NBL. So he could go back to the NBL and play for the Adelaide 36ers if nothing comes to fruition in the NBA. But he has agreed to play this summer with the Filipino, the Philippines national team. And they are competing in the Asian games, a Southeast Asian games specifically, they're called the C games. So he'll be participating there, which could conflict with playing in the summer league, which a lot of people are saying that, you know, he has the option to go back to the NBL, travel to Europe to play in the Euro League, or, you know, the troop back home. Ooh, did my frames drop? Okay, we're good, we're good. I didn't know if my frames dropped, but, and he's a guy that the summer league's from July 7th to 17th, and it's interesting to see that, like, yeah, he could, like his best shot right now for the NBA is to go to the summer league. And supposedly he has offers. Okay. And those offers I assume are from the teams that he worked out for. And he worked out for the Kings, Hawks, Cavaliers, Knicks, Magic, and the Pacers. So those are all the teams that could go after him. I mean, the Kings, the Hawks, the Knicks, the Magic, and the Pacers all seem likely. I mean, the Cavs have so many centers that I don't see them giving him a two way, but Joe Bell, his agent, said he would not take part in the summer league, but there's still a chance because he supposedly is still undecided and has made no decision yet, as his agent said he previously misspoke about that and that he has not made a decision to play in the C games as well as the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. So that all is very potential, you know, that he goes over and skips the summer league to play in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers for the Gillas. Filipinas, so hopefully I said that correctly, which is the name of the Philippines national team. I personally think his best thing is to try the summer league. If he doesn't get a two-way contract or a deal from the summer league, go back to the MBL or to Europe and just don't play for the national team this year. I just don't think it's the right move because for him right now, I think what's best for him is to try to show NBA teams that he can be an NBA player and I, I really do think that's his best shot at being able to come over here and having a shot in the NBA. He needs to play in the summer league. He needs to play in the summer league. I'm very, very serious. And he has teams that worked him out. So the, the problem with Kai Soto, if you guys want to be honest, is centers are undervalued and people are scared that he's Boban Marjanovic. Uh, if we have to be quite frank, that is the fear with him that he could be Boban Marjanovic. Sorry about that, my fr my recording froze. So basically, the the fear with him is if he's going to be Boban Marjanovic, and if he has the lateral quickness and he isn't heavy footed enough, because he's basically a drop coverage big man. He's not going to be able to ever be a switch big man. Will he be able to play more than fifteen minutes a night? That's the question. And obviously, if he came into the league fifteen years ago, he would have been a first round pick. Arguably, could have probably been the first overall pick. You remember Yao Ming, and I'm not comparing him to Yao Ming. Yao Ming was a very special player that probably will never ever happen again. But also, you guys remember Yi Jing Ling? I think he doesn't Yi Jin Ling now play actually for the NBL. Yi Jin, yeah, he does. Jin Ling, he plays for the NBL. Or no, he went back to he went back to China, but he was in the NBL for a little. That's so funny. So, no, he didn't actually ever go to the NBL. My apology. I thought he was in the NBL and he had gone over there, but I guess he didn't. But he ruptured his Achilles. He, do you guys remember? He, he actually tried coming back to the NBA in 2012 with, not 2012, 2016 with the Lakers. You guys remember that? That was wild. He signed and then he just went back to China after signing a one year, $8 million deal. But, hey, if he can be similar to. Uh, first off, I think Yi Jing Ling was, could be a guy who could be really good. Also, people don't realize Yi Jing Ling is, was way older than he was. Like he was listed as, same thing happened to Wang ZZ. Supposedly the problem with Chinese players is their scrupulousness. I know Kai Soto doesn't have that problem, but this is a, I just want to know, 
what do you guys think? If he can develop the shooting ability, he's a stud. But yeah, so basically that's all I have to say about our man. Go check out Kai Soto. Go to the Summer League. Show that you're worth it and you'll make it into the NBA. I'm not even kidding. That's what you need to do. And I really hope it happens, okay? But besides that, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of all this? What do you think needs to be ha happen? Besides that, check out the NBA show. Check out my NFL channel. Do all that good jazz. I love y'all.